Hey everybody, I am Yen. Thank you for being here with me. I listen to comebacks, the beaut songs, or to be honest, any songs that I've never heard of in the K-pop industry, I check it out for the first time with you. Now, some of you have introduced me to some Asian songs. I'm down for that too, but I can't always guarantee like copyright issues that I can play the video while talking because there's certain K-pop groups who um, won't let me show their MV as well. But anyways, tell me different groups, soloists, and I will check them out and I will add it onto my list. I've heard her name, but I don't know anything about her. And her views are currently at 16 million. So that's great. That's a lot of viewers actually. And I think she's new, so I'm guessing she might be a new solo artist. But Yena, have you heard of her? I don't know anything, at least not that I know of. So please comment below and help me out as maybe she's from one of those survival shows or something like that. But 60 million views does tell me she was probably in a former group or, you know, has been in the music industry for a while. So people know her. It's just I don't know her. So help me out on that. Today, the name of the song we're listening to is Smiley. So I'm guessing it's going to be a pop, upbeat, happy song. So yeah, that's all I can say right now. <laughs> Let's check it out right now. It looks like we're turning off the TV or is it turning on an ancient TV? But featuring BB, ah, oh, I heard a BB before. Who... Trying to think. She's a rapper. And I remember seeing her name with another solo artist that I've listened to. But that was a while ago. I'm sure BB has her own songs too, but maybe she's good friends with Yena as well as the other solo artists. Oh, I forgot who. But, anyways, if you know anything about her as well, let me know. But yeah, let's just get started. Let's enjoy Smiley together! <laughs> Breaking news! A new superhero is reported to be seen at the Eiffel Tower yesterday. Sprinkle hurts and smileys, which apparently have the power to make people happy. The name of this hero is Smiley Yana, and her intention is to smile in the world and beyond to the universe. Where is the next target? One is the limit of a smile tower.
antagonist of the story and Yana is the protagonist who is trying to make everyone smile. I personally like that concept especially when things are dark and due to COVID right having something positive and hopeful and a very upbeat song really lifts up your mood so I hope Yana sticks with this positive happy vibe from now on as she really does give that feel. After saying that though <laughs> Maybe I'm too old. I feel like this music, uh, or sorry, I should clarify. Music is fine for all ages. I feel like the storyline is definitely more suitable for younger audiences. I mean, to be honest, this storyline is suitable for all ages, but I think the younger kids will enjoy it more. And like I said, it's nothing bad, but I found some parts a bit cringy or a bit cheesy just because of my age, but also because of the cartoons I've watched in the past, I saw some lots of similarities. So I think kids will definitely like her as like a superhero as well. But let's go back to the beginning and talk more about my observations. We notice on the news there is a girl who is bringing happiness everywhere starting with the Eiffel Tower and we see her kind of going through different parts of the world perhaps to make things better and try to make people smile. There's this guy who is constantly monitoring and watching her for some reason but it's very interesting because he is very down very sad and his cup even says like I forgot cry till I die or something like that and so it seems like he really needed that boost that happiness that smile from Yana to help him feel better but then we are at a diner and we see, you know, everyone grumpy, frustrated, angry, not really caring how other people feel because they're on their devices. So it seemed to be a very depressing, sad area. So if it's a sad, frowny place, then superhero Smiley Yenna will come and save the day. So she pops up in the middle of nowhere. It is a very shady place for sure, like sketchy, by the way. Um, but she's here and she has these ancient headphones. Again, linking more of the 90s uh, vibe going on, but I had these before and those headphones, that styrofoam -y whatever part, rips very easily. Just, just a little sharing, TMI. But... Anyways, she puts it on and listens to music and I'm going to lift myself up here. What was she doing? I thought she clicked on something. Anyway, she clicked on something and was ready to change the world and bring happiness. And so, kind of kind of cheesy already there but anyways shady hotel It's not a hotel first of all, but it is a very shady place and the itch and why it disappears so it becomes like a sad hotel and so she checks in and see what's up she comes around and sees a bunch of people who were sad there was this boy that multiplied by 10 um trying to grab the balloon but of course smiley yana saves the day by jumping up and grabbing that balloon for him and then she goes in and tries to entertain make everyone happy and so um everyone 
got sick, right? They were dancing, they were happy. Happiness and smiling is contagious, which is a good thing. And everyone decided to groove along and have fun. I noticed though that she's not a very tall artist, I guess. She has massive pumps and also heels later. Just an observation, but it also gave me a little bit of a J-pop vibe as in the shoes. But we see her dancing, having a blast. This makeup looks really good on her. I mean, I haven't seen her before with different makeup or no makeup, but she looks great with the mic singing, entertaining, and bringing happiness all around. But we then have Bibi, the one who brings anger and sadness, and she comes and wraps around, and people are gloomy again, right? And it became dark, and so I guess these are normal emotions that people have, right? Happy, sad, um, everything in between. So it's quite normal, but she's purposely, you know, causing more problems, and it starts to snow even harder as... Yana is trying to come and save the world in some ways and this guy definitely felt a lot happier as um, he started dancing in his little smiley happy spot, right? And we see Yana though maybe too cold or too tired and she passed out. Oh no, the world is getting more sad and angry and frustrated. We need Yana because she's the only one that can make everyone smile. And I thought the man with the pink hat would come out, but it was actually the little boy that encouraged her to get back up. And there's always that like, wink, <laughs> which was also a little cartoony for me. But anyways, speaking of cartoons, there will be more to come. So the mic was actually her wand that gives her strength. And so the boy encouraged her and she transforms. And so, we see some cartoon here. She's energized. She's full of power. Her smiley is going to turn into a duck, which will take over the world. And it's no longer shady, but it's going to be a happy place. She's wearing white again, and she's just performing on stage, bringing happiness wherever she's at. And the concept is great, but really, it's a little... I don't want to say cheesy because I think it's a good concept. Cheesy, but not in a negative way, okay? And so she looks like a princess singing and it reminded me of a cartoon show. I haven't watched a whole lot of it, but it's like fairies or magical girls singing on stage and they have their own superpowers or automobiles, or am I mixing it up with two? Winx Club? There's another cartoon that has singing and power and happiness too. So that's the feeling I got from this uh, MV. And so in the end, right, everyone is happy again. And then we were able to see Bibi and Yana together, black and white contrasting. And they just look really great together, having some silly moments as well. So even though I think uh, younger kids will enjoy. I'm sure people of all ages will appreciate it as well. I love the concept. I hope more people will smile and maybe when they're in a bad mood or things are going rough for them, I hope eventually they will have their frown upside down again. So yeah, I'm really glad that Yana started that off for us and hopefully she can continue that chain. What did you think of this song? Were there some parts that you really liked? Did you have that positive cheesy feeling to it? Um, there's also like good and evil, so it definitely felt very cartoon for me. But again, like I said, it's not a negative thing. It's just um, something that really stood out when I watched it. So yeah, continue to support Yana, and I will see you in another reaction video. Should I pretend to be part of this? <laughs> mm -hmm.